like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. The devil come in disguise when you're trying to do right, right. It's like, it's weird. It's really weird, honestly, because you think you trying to go towards the light, you feel me? And whole time, telling you would be deceit. It'd be deceitful, motherfucker. Deceit. It'd be the deceit trying to, trying to make it seem like they all light, you feel me? That's how you know it's deceitful. Motherfuckers deceiving. Yep. That's basically what he what he did and what he was doing, and it's like that he get you know that's why what happened to him is happening to him now. You feel me? Period. Like that's what's happening to him. Whole while it be taking you into darkness. Yeah. Whole while it be taking you into darkness. Bitch, you gotta be scared. Yeah. But hold on, hold on. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back right quick. Hold on. Y'all come back. If y'all wanna come back, come back. Iggy Maggie, what's up? Hey Miami. Hey me, if you're watching. <laughs> what's up? Always choosing me folks. What's up, God is demi God? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? So welcome to the chat. Welcome to the live. Taking down my hairs. Guys, I'm going to limit the amount of commentary that I do on this video. What's up, Mama Nova? How everybody doing? Whoa. It's raining and shit. Terrifying. But how y'all doing, man? Grateful for my mom. She got me this, my bracelets and shit and a necklace. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, mom. What's up? What's up, Nova? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? It's 963 shit. 96 and a 3. Feel me? You got to throw the 96, then you got the 3. Feel me? Oh God! Last. Hit that like button for me one time, y'all. We gang. Let's go. Let's go. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Be back on Bigo. You feel me? Most likely finna start going back on Bigo. Oh God! You feel me? Life do be life and life still life. I don't know, like, I ain't gonna lie. Life still life. For real. Life still life. And I don't know when the shit gonna end, but. You know, just gonna just keep my head up, you feel me? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a overcome this shit. Period. Don't let life get the best of you. Period. What's up, Gifted in Black? I like the name. Gifted in Black. Black Power, you feel me? How y'all doing, man? I'm taking down uh, some of my locks and shit that I did. I'm trying to make them smaller. About to make them a little smaller. As long as we alive, life will be lifing. <laughs> For real. Dead ass.
Yep. You just get stronger. And know knowing how to deal with it. you gotta know how to deal with the like the upcoming events, you feel me? Especially if you know life is gonna be life and you gotta prepare yourself. You know, and then you also gotta take the lesson that you learn in life so you don't put yourself in the same position again as well. Always remember the lessons in life. You gotta take the good with the bad, exactly. Exactly. And you need both. You need both to learn in life. You need bad and good. Like you can learn from the good, but you also learn from the bad. I'm dead. What's up, magical goddess? What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm dead as hell. She said fungus nuts. <laughs> I'm dead as hell. But um shit, if they need me, I don't mind, you feel me, saying my piece or whatever. You know, but I don't think I'm needed because I like I said, I was already trying to um you feel me, contact them and shit. But they was already they, they ain't never hit me back, you feel me? So they told me that they already have enough. And that he put a lot of shit on internet. You know what I'm saying? He he exposed himself, you feel me, on the internet. So I don't really gotta do nothing. Oh god. <laughs> um Honestly, it's like Nosy bitch, to tell you truth, <laughs> you funny for the name too, but um, nosy bitch, to tell you the truth, you feel me? How I feel about Clubfoot and his women and everything that's going on, I mean, shit, because I low key, I once looked up to him, you feel me, as a spiritual leader and shit like that. And it's it's upsetting, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's like, damn, you feel me, um, how shit played out. You know, him and his darkness and, and the dumb shit that he did to sabotage what he had going on. It's shit goofy, honestly. The shit goofy. You know, the shit really is goofy. But um, it's upsetting as well because it's like certain shit I like, I agree with over there. Like I understood what he was saying and things. But, you know, it just, it's goofy, honestly. How you feel about what's going on with the club foot and his women? Yeah. That's the moral story. Shit. Ancestors don't play, period. Facts. I'm glad you woke up. Appreciate it, appreciate it. For sure. Yeah. That shit not right, you know? Like, certain shit that he was doing, like, it's like, on one, on one part of it, he be saying some real shit, and then on the other side, it just be, he be doing goofy shit. So, that's the fucked up part about it. It's like, you think you you be like listening to some shit that's you doing like on a movement and all right, he's speaking some real shit. And then next thing you know, like he doing goofy shit though. So. I love you, mother. Facts. Facts. What's up, Kaz Jellies? Kaz Jellies. I got some new music coming soon, too, y'all. And then I'm finna be on Bigo. It's gonna be lit. We're gonna get Bigo lit. Oh, God. I'm gonna get Bigo lit. What's up, Be the Counselor? But yeah, man. I don't mind talking more about it, but sometimes I don't like talking about it, but, you know, I don't mind talking more about it, you feel me? I really don't, but then sometimes I don't like talking about it.
Yeah, we still together. Still together. L living life. Life is life. And <laughs> bad. Bad magical goddess. Yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. You feel me? But yeah, it's like, it's crazy because it's like, here's my thought process during the thing. You feel me? My thought process is, um, I'm on a spiritual journey and I have to do the right thing. You feel me? And, um, you know, he was teaching at the time, at the time he was teaching that we have to go with objectivity, you know, which is facts, straight facts. Um, and by nature, by facts and nature, objectivity, and don't go by, we don't live by subjectivity, basically. That's what he was teaching at the time, right? And, you know, I left my whole life behind and to be accepted by this group, this tribe that said that, you know, I want to be accepted by this tribe, to be a part of this tribe, because apparently from what he's saying, Everything's gonna be falling. Everything's gonna and Babylon's gonna fall. You gotta find your tribe, find your people. Um, and since he was speaking a message at the time, you know, proclaiming that he was the Messiah, etc. Proclaiming that he was the Messiah and he's here to save people, collect the elite, um, convict the weak, and collect the elite, and things like that. At first, I wasn't even gonna join his camp. You know, I already said that. I already said that piece. I wasn't even gonna join his camp at first. I was. Um, gonna be on my own shit do my own shit but what made me join was because juju joined because we were supposed to do some shit together but he left and he joined and so that would make me join as well because i was like damn i don't want to be the only one i don't got no nobody to do it with you feel me so i want to, i want to do it with somebody so i said i might as well join too since he joined i want to be a part of something i want to do it with somebody with people so i said I might as well join the people who started it right and so I said, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. My homie over there, he, he seemed like he cool, he got it, he chilling. That's what it seemed like, you feel me? So I went over there, you feel me? And um, at the time, he was saying a lot of shit about like masculinity and um, like masculine women and things like that. And I was kinda, I was kinda like in the back of my head, I was scared that he wouldn't accept me because of that. Because he was, he was talking a lot of, about masculine women. I'm dead. <laughs> I think Juju had sexual relations with Dusty Nut. Shit, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you. I don't really know personally. But um, I do know that, you know, I think Juju just... He just so I think he just stuck in the, the knowledge aspect of it, and he just really drinking the Kool Aid. He just drink he just drinking the Kool Aid, you know, believing in a lot of the the lies and the manipulation as well. Oh la la, but yeah, so that's what I think. But other than that, you know. Um, he was speaking a lot about, you know, talking a lot of shit about masculine women. And so I kind of had like a little fear that he was going to make, try to, you know, change me or some shit or want me to be different. And, and then part of me was like, but what if I had to do that? Like for my spiritual journey, like what if that's what I had to do? And I was like, shit, I mean, I came all the way out here, you feel me? And they end up having me run on rocks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Saying, oh, you want to be a man? You want to be a man? And shit like that. And, um, Musa, that's when Musa came to me saying, like, Alihio, not gonna let I am so mad she glitched right there. Be there the way I am. And things like that. And so, I, so you know, he was like, if you don't want to run on the rocks no more, um, you know, and you want to have nice things here. You you want to, hey, Shy Town, how y'all doing? Hey, doing good. What's up, BB London? 
so yeah so that's when um he was like uh, are you i feel like you know you need guidance you know i feel like you need guidance and you came here to be guided and i feel like you're confused you don't know what you're doing i feel like you need to be led you need a man i feel like you're the one for me um and if you want if you don't want to run these rocks no more and things like that you can you can live nice you feel me you need to be, you, you need to be in your femininity at least you're not gonna let you stay here like this you feel me he's not gonna let you be here like this i'm like you feel me? And at the time i didn't want to run on them rocks I ain't gonna lie and i was also like i said i had left um everything behind and i was uh drinking a kool-aid i was believing that the world was gonna end and i was in survival mode and i was all i was when i left before i left i was depressed i was looking for guidance i was depressed you know what i'm saying you do dumb shit and you're depressed and looking for guidance and you you just in a dark place you know what i'm saying in a place where it's like who am i like what is life you know i was in that type of place like who am i what is life i was in that type of place so then i'm looking for guidance and i'm trusting that this is the messiah he he has good intentions for me like he, he black i'm like oh he black he he don't mean no harm to me he's trying to save his people like he really trying he mean well he's trying to save his people so yeah that's what how have you been able to deal with the fact that those some of his teachers was true he was a lie like how are you able to just continue on his path and not to be in that space of confusion how have you been able to do it like that Oh, because I know that some, because I can tell the difference between the, the truths and the lie. That's how I'm, I'm able to keep on my spiritual path is because the spiritual path itself is not fake. There are some true shit about spirituality that's actually true. But you have to, you have to uh, tell the difference between the truths and the lies. That's how I'm able to continue on my spiritual path is because I keep the truths. I take the meat and I leave the bones. I take what I need and I leave the rest. Take the meat, leave the bones. You don't need the bones. You need the meat. Fuck the lies. I'm gonna keep the truth. But other than that, um, so I'm somebody who's very spiritual and like, you know, I'm not gonna be shaken with that. You feel me? Like I'm very like, and I already broke down the like the psychology of a shit and why he and how he really got to people's brain and like manipulated people with like this Jesus Messiah theory and things like that. You feel me? Which really manipulated motherfuckers. Oh. I almost fell for his bullshit too. But I'm nosy and I kept watching and listening. And shit wasn't right with him. You funny right. I'm so happy I left. They weren't even his teachings. He used other teachings to only manipulate and use them. And use them all. Exactly. He really do be using other people's teachings too. Like he used other people's teachings, just put them all together, and then he make them seem like it's all his. He took some shit from me. Like he took some shit from a lot of different people. He took teachings from a lot of different people, even in the camp. He took some shit from knowledge, Jennifer. He took some shit from Jennifer. Jennifer told me she took he took some shit from her and didn't give her the credit. They said some about this some happened and he, he took the credit for it in the camp. And I mean in the cult. But um, back to my story, what I was saying. Back to my story, what I was saying. Um, yeah, he took from you all, right? But um, right. But so basically, what I was saying was, you know. Um, even when I was there, you know, and, and, um, I, when I'm, when I originally, you know, said, uh, I made the decision to wear a dress on a big old live, well, not a dress, a wrap or whatever on a big old live. Um, it was peer pressure and I was peer pressure to do that. It was like, uh, you know, they already had the big old live going. They were like getting it ready. And, you know, Musa came to me and was like, you know, can you rare rap for us it's just for clout um to help spread the message to help promote the message and shit just we just need you to put on a rap and shit just come up you know um have some had them do you right you feel me and just come up real quick like i wouldn't even you know like if i was gonna do or go into my femininity i wanted to go slow but they was they was like 
already trying to make me wear a dress, like put on a wrap and shit for Beagle Live for a clout to help spread the message they were saying. And I was just like, he was like, it was just like the last minute type shit. He was like, you're going to do it for your mission if you commit it type shit. Like, and it's just to help spread the message, you know. And at the time, I'm like, I mean, I guess because it's like to help spread the message, you feel me? And I'm already somebody who I don't find nothing wrong with being the class clown. Like, growing up, I used to do dumb shit to be the class clown to make people laugh. I used to do dumb shit. So it wasn't no, it wasn't no, um, far from doing some dumb shit. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'll do it for, for the big old live, for the, for the mission or whatever on some funny shit. And yeah, it was like, um, they, before I went out, before I went to the live, Alihio was trying to make me basically make it seem like it was my idea for to wear the dress and to wear the rap and to come into my divine feminine and he was trying to make it seem like uh make sure you tell the people like this is your idea he was like no one's making you do this right and i was like right i guess um i guess do you feel me like and he was like it's to protect his name because oh i'm the messiah and it's to protect my name because people were going to think that i'm or bad or it's going to fall back on him or something right so I had to protect his name and make it seem like I was the one doing it and as well as um, I I'd also said some things that weren't true because I didn't want my parents to worry about me I thought I was doing the right thing and when you think you're doing the right thing you lie on the camera especially because you don't want your parents to worry about you right because at, at the time I was in a different headspace I thought that my parents wasn't my parents and that they wouldn't understand my journey and that they wouldn't understand what I had to do for my mission. And I was so I so I lied on camera so my so my parents wouldn't worry. I lied and said that yeah, this is what I want to do. And also to protect uh Elihio's name at the time because I thought he was a messiah. And as well as um what was I gonna say? Yeah. Thought he was a messiah and shit, you feel me? Um that's the, that's the real reason why also 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 another reason why um I did it was be like I said not only was I depressed in a dark space and I trusted them I trusted that you know I guess this is what I'm supposed to do um I didn't think that I was gonna last long you know I said yes only to um let them see that I, w I would give it a try you feel me I was like maybe if I maybe if I let them see that I gave it a try they'll let me you know just be my original self if I can just you know how um somebody trying to make you like something and then you'd be like all right I'll try it but then you'd be like all right but now it's like you feel me that's what I was hoping that would happen that I would be like you know just let them see that I at least I'm trying you know on my on my spiritual journey that I tried and then I can go back to just being who I am Because at the time, I'm like, I'm not trying to go back to hell. I don't I don't want to go back to hell. I don't want to go back to some shit that was going to fall and crumble. And are you going to the trail to help defend the theory? Um, If she need my help, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Susie, me, Downey. What you mean by invited? Like, like recruited or something? Susie, Susie, me down A. What's up? Oh, you said by involve, like where we the yeah we were like supposed to be together yeah like we were supposed to be together. 
that's what they were saying type shit. That's what they he tried he basically put me and Musa together. Like he told Musa to come at me. That's what Musa told me after we left. He said that that wasn't even his decision. He said Alihio manipulated him and told him like to come after me type shit. Like that was his it was like an order. He was going off orders. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put my music on YouTube. Nah, no. Honestly, so you didn't want to have relations with Musa? No. I was. I was. A, I wasn't. A I ain't finna hold y'all, but I knew that already. I knew that. I, I really didn't I didn't come there to I didn't come there for no man you know what I'm saying like I didn't come there to you feel me I came there for the knowledge the mission and because I'm trying to find a tribe because it's, I, and I believe he was a messiah but I didn't come there to be in a relationship with no man you know what I'm saying like I want them to accept me for who I was a stud and you know that shit you know that shit already frowned upon being gay, that shit already frowned upon, especially in religion. In religion, if you gay, like that's frowned upon in religion. You know, so it was like it was like guilt tripping. You feel me? It was like making me feel guilty or something. Like spirituality shit. Like, oh, you can't be like this. Yeah. Yeah. So do you feel you and Musa was forced by the heel? Yeah, exactly, honestly. It was forced, like it wasn't, first off, Musa has to go off orders. He going off orders, they have to like go by his orders. Like that is true, you know what I'm saying? And then coach. Possibly. Possibly, possibly, he possibly could promote, promote that shit. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Katrina Chow. Honestly. Yeah. He bogus, bruh. He bogus. And, and the proof, yes, he promotes rape. The proof is in the videos. He sad, bruh. He sad, bro. And it's like, it's hard because it's like, you don't like, it's hard because it's like, I didn't, I didn't want to believe that about him, that he that type of dude to do some shit like that because the shit he was speaking about, you feel me? Like he was speaking, he be speaking about some real shit, you know, and I really felt his heart and that's why I went out there and just to come to the fact that like he be on some other shit is it's, it's hard to accept you feel me it is hard to accept but it's like damn you know what i'm saying the shit could be right there in your face you feel me who but me it's jazz what's up this shit's sad though you feel me But, yeah. But soon, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be back on Bigo, you know. Oh, yeah, I might possibly be on Netflix soon, too, as well. So look out for Netflix. No. Oh yeah, I'ma possibly be on Netflix soon too as well. So look out for Netflix. It's gonna be a documentary.
Wait, what other what other woman I speak about? Who? Cause I don't know. Um, Rihanna, Kendra. Well, I can't really make a. I can't really tell you about Velvet and Brianna and them because I don't really know them personally. I don't know them personally, but from from looking on line, I mean, shit. I can't really tell you, but Kendra, I know her personally. She's cool. She's she's nice. I mean, she 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 was a different person in a cult because that's what they made her to do. They made her to be more like stern and like kind of mean and things. But the real her is she nice. She's cool. I hope he gets put away for a long time and all you guys get justice. Facts. Katrina, Katrina, the tail. What y'all was saying? Oh, um, yeah, Kendra Cool. Kendra Cool, Velvet. Don't really know her. What's up, Sunny D Cakes? Right. Yeah, it do be some just weird shit. Velvet was calling Janae a liar. Right. Velvet was just calling Janae a liar. Mm hmm. I don't really watch too much of them, but that is true. It's like, what's. I be confused sometimes, but, you know, sometimes these women do be. They do be like tripping. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> be honest with you what do you think about the other charges they might add um wait what <laughs> I'm dead hold on what do you think about the other charges they might add that he would do some shit like that like on some that's my property this is my property type shit Right, I feel you. Magical goddess. Yeah, you you could possibly be right about that. I right, I'm about to go, y'all. I I'm, I'm not trying to be on here too too long, but I'm I'm gonna be coming back live more though. So yeah, I could tap back in any other time, but I'm about to go to be on Beagle more. Talk more about it another time on hood. He hurt so many people. He deserves everything he is getting. Hopefully they will investigate what really happened to Baby Love and Mama Dia. Right. Honestly. All right, y'all. See y'all later. Of course.
Mm-hmm.